Hey devs, welcome back again for another Tool and Tip Tuesday. This week, we're going to take a look at how you can use Gradle to scan your project for all the dependencies and generate a browsable dependency report that you can use to quickly scan through and discover what dependencies your project has. So first up, let's use Gradle to generate a build scan that will allow us to browse through the dependencies in our project. To do that, we'll open up our terminal. We'll type dot slash Gradle W and then we'll say app colon dependencies. Now this will basically run the dependencies task for our application project. And once we've done that, we can go through here and look for all the dependencies for each configuration within the project. So you see here, we have a number of the Android X dependencies. And if we keep scrolling, we just keep finding dependencies. Now, looking at them through the output like this is okay. But if we read this line here, a web-based searchable dependency report is available by adding the dash dash scan option. With that option, we can actually generate a web page essentially that allow us to view these dependencies a little bit more easily. So we'll again type our app colon dependencies command, but this time we'll add dash dash scan to the end. And once again, we'll run that. Once it's done, we'll see this output here at the bottom saying, publishing a build scan to scans.gradle.com requires accepting the Gradle terms of service defined at blah, blah, blah. Do you accept these terms? So go ahead and type yes. And once it's done, it will publish the build scan to this URL. If we go ahead and follow the URL, it'll then ask you for an email address to send your scan to. So if you're comfortable sending a email address to Gradle for them to email you, go ahead and enter your email. And then they'll send you an email where you can open up your scan. Once you've opened up your scan from the sent email, you can go over here to the left and click on the dependencies section. Once you've done that, you'll see the task here that we ran the dependencies for. So in this case, our project uh, configuration was named app. So we can click into this and we can see all of the other configurations for which the dependencies were scanned. Now, this is pretty cumbersome to go through and uh, find your dependencies. I, I think they should update this. Um, I don't think it should be the default view, but if you click expand all right here, it'll automatically expand this. And now as you start to scroll through this, it's much easier to see what your dependencies are and where they're coming from. So if you're opening up a new project or you're just not sure what dependencies your project really has nowadays, maybe it's a multi-module project that's gotten quite large, this can help you come in and quickly scan through all of those and get a better idea of which dependencies are in your project. 